Hi, my name is Larry. I'm a web developer. I have just integrated the P2P video training tool into a web application. So I would like to share with you the video series about the P2P technology. I hope the video series will help you and I could get your feedback for improving myself. Let us on the first video. Today I will talk about the P2P concept like P2P introductions, RTMFP, and finally uh, my opinions about P2P streaming solution for running within browser. P2P introductions. What is P2P streaming? It is server serverless streaming. P2P streaming is solution that allows distributions updated by clients without the need for a central server. B2B streaming delivers super-scale real-time streaming with ultra-low latency, infinite scalability, and minimum bandwidth uses. Who is P2B streaming for? It's for large, large in mass in social media are integrated are for millions of users real-time stream live events or re-recorded contents to the mass around the world launches massively multiplayer online game that require a super scale concurrent connections among players and the other mega scale real-time media projects that require Robust delivery, no matter how many users are involved, with minimum infrastructure and bandwidth cost. And how does B2B stream streaming work? When small participants connect, is automatically try to establish a RTMFP connection and stream video peer to peer. This cell serves bandwidth and decreases latency as participants stream direct, directly to each other. You can see in the pictures here is the B2P models after the participants connect to a plasma server, it will establish the RM. TFP connection between two but two participants and it can deliver data between each other. And here is a central server model. The participants connect to the flash meta server and get data directly from the flash meta server. RTMFP introduces it stands for real time media flow protocols. It is a new communications protocol from RTP that enables direct end user to end user peering communication between multiple RTP plus players and applications built using the RTP Air framework for delivery of real-time real communication. Flash player 10 and Air 1.5 or later support real-time media flow protocol. RTMFP is built on user data RAM protocol UDP. RTMP is built on transmission control protocol TCP. UDB provides lower latency than TCP. You can substitute RTMFP for RTMP in traditional unicast one to many or one to one applications to take advantage of the lower latency 
and lowers bandwidth costs. Applications that rely on live real-time communication such as social networks and multi-user games will be able to deliver higher quality communication solutions. RTMFP enables end users to connect and communicate directly with each other using a webcam and a microphone. Document sharing will not be supported with RTMFP. A brief history of RTMFP. Adobe introduced the real-time meetup flow road road con RTMFP with Flash Player 10 in November 2008, which it deploys on over 90% of internet connected PCs using RTMFP and a managed peer-to-peer -peer solution such as Adobe Service. Flash players can now send data directly to its destination without sending it through a server. P2P communication with Flash player has become a reality. You should keep in mind the following considerations when using RTMFP with Flash player tens. Peer assisted networking with Flash player utilize a managed P2B solution from Adobe such as Adobe Source for renderable services. Developers are responsible for exchanging peer IDs to create P2P application. For instance, you might need to store the peer ID in an external tracking database and use that to allow additional flash player instance to make connections. To exchange audio, video, and data using a P2B application, application running on Plus Layer 10, you are limited to using NetStream in a point-to-point -point topology. Data need to be transmitted from the publishing peer one for each connected peer, making the solution good for one or two-way conferencing or collaborations applications. What is the user data RAM protocol UDP? Why is UDP important to RTMFP? UDP is an efficient internet internet protocol allow basically reliable delivery of media and data. UDP unlike TCP do not try to recover data that has been stored in transmission. This allows video and audio to keep up with live, real-time communications and reduce delays caused by latency, which is a priority for this type of real-time solution. TCB way for data backups, which can cause delays or interruptions in delivery. UDB can also support communication in the last enterprise networks rotated by NAT routers. And what are the limitations of RTMFP? RTMFP is not enable swarming, multicast, and broadcast quality live video. It's only enable communication from the voice and video device native to your computer, such as your microphone and webcam. And finally, this is my opinion about the P2B streaming solution for running within browser. Developing a true peer-to-peer -peer video solution that will run from within browser still seem a little way up. HTML5 saw risk rumors in this area, but the API are not ready for right, right time yet, and are unlikely to be so until around 2013. Adobe has a bunch of solutions for this, which has been about since 
2008, it caused serious, reversely gotten tractors, and also referred to as real-time made a flow road code, RTMFP. So where do we go from here? As we plug and circus service, for many years, the only live video technology available within the browser has been Adobe Flash at the Lion end and Adobe Flash Mail servers at the server end. On video traffic, it passed through to Flash Mail servers between two clients. This create this this creates large and expensive bandwidth uses on the server and also reacts additional latency between two layers. Adobe developed series to allow the plasma server to be bypass reacting a true peer to be a link between the two layers. HTML5 P2P we wait and see how this develops. The best example of this so far is from the Erasmus lab. It should be noticed. However, that this is just a demo and the API is you are not currently available in any version version web browser. Are there any other solutions? Microsoft Civilized is not really an option as the latest version are not available on the Linux platform. And besides this, also has missing functionality. I'm not an expert in Java, but I think this cannot be done using Java either. So finally, I think uh, we should use Adobe Flash and Serious for P2B trimming solutions. It's the end for today. In conclusion, P2B is serverless streaming. P2B delivers with low latency and minimum bandwidth uses, but it can't broadcast high quality live video. Uh, another thing you should to remember, P2B use RTMFP and it's a pure on user data RAM protocol UDP. So the user needs to open UDP port to use P2P and the P2P streaming solution for running within browser now I think it has to be flat and serious. In the internet video I will show how to make the P2P video streaming example. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Goodbye.